Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite places and countries and stuffs. And today I'm going to do a mini album review. What? No. <laughs> I'm going to do a, a me around the world video where I talk about Taiwan. Um, Taiwan. Taiwan. Um, nothing else. Nothing else. Taiwan. So, Taiwan is a big island. It's a really big island off of the coast of China, south of Japan and Korea, north of Philippines. And I feel like this is one of the most underrated places in the world. The first time I've been to Taiwan, I wasn't too impressed, but I've been there twice and then after the second time i realized taiwan is actually fantastic and it is one of the best travel destinations in the world a lot of the people a lot of the tourists are missing out by not going to taiwan i mean not only are the food amazing but there are a lot of beautiful sights in taiwan as well so um yeah taiwan 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 um, the people there, they speak Mandarin, unfortunately, uh, and uh, some people there also speak a, a Taiwanese Mandarin dialect, uh, and some people there also speak Mingyu, which is also a Mandarin dialect, and um, they use Chinese words and traditional Chinese because the people in Taiwan they're not they're not lazy you know they they read traditional Chinese words like Hong Kongers and Macauers Macanese yeah <laughs> so I've been to Taiwan twice in my life one time is uh, during Christmas in 2009 and only me and my grandma went to Taipei to visit my grandma's sister's family and we stayed there for like five days or so I pretty much completely forgot about what happened other than um, my clothes almost being burned off by a firecracker almost the second time I've been to Taiwan it was the year 2014 also Christmas apparently and we stayed there for around 10 days but I was really young back then and I was mm, I was 12 years old I think was I I forgot was I forgot if the uh, if the Taiwan trip in 2014 took place in Christmas or in uh, April or in summer I think it's summer though but when I checked the photos it said Christmas but I think it's summer right so I was 11 and I was young back then I didn't plan the whole trip my entire family went there and they decided where to go and my family decided to go around the entire island but uh, we didn't actually go around we went from the north all the way to the east then to the south and then we drove back up we completely ignored the west um, but uh, yeah, that was an eye-opening trip. It's one of the most, un un again, one of the most underrated travel destinations out there. And also I was really young and I didn't take a camera there, nor did I have a smartphone. So I didn't take any photos, take any videos. My mom, I think, or my dad did bring her or his camera and I I guess I did take a couple of photos of that camera but um you know they took mostly selfies and they didn't take photos and videos of everything like I usually do because I'm a nerd so I really don't know where have I been I kind of forgot uh, about most of the places I've been. I, I have bits and pieces of memories of where I have been, but they're just bits and pieces. Like, I forgot where did I go on which day, at which time, ate what, uh, slept in what and where. 
So, um, I looked through the photos that I found on my PC, and I tried to piece together these different photos and try to figure out where have I been. And I could barely find the itinerary of that trip. However, I did find a couple of locations that I had been to in that trip that I'm certain of. Also, before we start off, I would like to talk about the uh, 2009 Taiwan trip a little bit, just a little bit. I was really young back then. I think I was seven years old and I was a kid. I went to this boss city place, boss city, little boss. I think it's called little boss where it's, um, it's this giant like section in a mall where us kids can can pretend to be to have jobs and pretend to be like doctors or firefighters or or bakers chefs uh, police officers and we would play these little games and and pretend to be these people for a while which is really fun I never went inside the 101 tower but I was outside I remember very vividly and um, I remember drinking bubble tea which is awesome bubble tea local Taiwanese bubble tea heck yeah um, and I remember again firecrackers uh, it was like it was almost New Year and people were playing firecrackers it's legal in Taiwan but it's illegal in Hong Kong and um, it almost burnt off my clothes in the back because uh, a little girl was behind me and she was playing with firecrackers as, as well and uh, I think it was lit, it was on fire, and she placed it behind me. Anyway, back to the 2014 trip that I had. Um, yeah, again, I'm going to try my best to figure all these out and arrange all these different locations in a chronological way. Uh, but anyway, we started off at Taipei, of course. We were at, I don't know if we stayed at a hotel or did we stay at my grandma's sister's house i think i think the latter and uh, again uh, we met up with my grandma's sister's family and i think it was my grandma's sister right or was it my grandma's cousin i don't know it's very complicated but anyway um yeah we met up and we had dinner and that's basically day one i don't remember anything else from that from that day from day one day two we went around Taipei which I've been to and uh, we went to the library in Taipei Sheng Pin Shu Dian which in uh, in English is uh, like sh like uh, a Xing Pin library I think um, uh, I don't know I need to check Sheng yeah I don't know I don't know it's, it's a big library it's this really famous library in, in Taiwan it's very natural as well what Taiwan stands out to me is that it's very natural everything's very environmentally friendly there's a lot of wooden things it's very green and I remembered checking books out looking for specific books and, and that's it um, and we also walked around and we stumbled upon this uh, this spa place like sulfur spa or something and I remembered smoke just arising from that pool of, of steamy water but we didn't go in we just checked it out we were in a park as well as I remember and I also remember that um, afternoon we me my brother and my grandma's sister's son i think you know us three we rented bikes and we were in this park in in taipei and we just rode around and that that was really fun i actually remember that very vividly and uh th there were some really just we were um it was the seaside and the view was amazing but most most of all i think most important of all 
everything just felt so so clean and 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 dreamlike. But again, maybe it's because I I don't have a vivid um, memory of, of what happened. But um, that was that was quite special. And meanwhile, everyone else was waiting at this cafe, and um, that cafe is pretty cool. And then we move on to day three, where we start off our trip all the way from the north to south. Um, first stop, we went to Yi. Yilan, uh, Yilan, and yeah, that's basically the the first stop, the first province, or or was it region? I think region or province. Uh, the first province. If you go from the north to the south, that's the first province you're gonna you're gonna go through. And we went to this winery, this abandoned winery. Everything is very. Um, broken up, abandoned, it's all concrete, it looks kind of dystopian, and uh, we didn't do much in there, but now, now that I looked at some photos of that abandoned winery, uh, it looks more touristy now, but back then when I went there, it's like very dystopian and abandoned, I think we, uh, we, we stopped by and went to a, a farm, and I think my mom bought like some corn but you know I may be wrong anyway at night we actually went to Hualien another province another region in Taiwan and we went to a resort called crossing the rainbow and at that night it was raining I remembered vividly it was raining and every and it was nighttime when we arrived and everything was all dark and wet and and it was just this crappy experience but we entered the resort, the Crossing the Rainbow Resort, and it was, it was again this really cozy, nice, very natural, wooden resort. And I still remember it. Every room in that resort has a weird name, and um, I think those names come from like Taiwanese, um, Aboriginal Taiwanese, like like original like native Taiwanese language um, so that's really interesting and then day four we woke up at that resort as well we had breakfast at that resort in that little, little room uh, in the um, on, on the ground floor and then afterwards we left at that resort again and we continued our journey southwards we went to this abandoned railway station. I think it's it's either in Taidong, which is uh, Taiwan East, or it was in Hualien, but I think it's in Hualien, Hualien. This directly translates to Flower Lotus. Uh, anyway, we went to this abandoned railway station, and again, I don't remember much, but I remember that it's like this giant center. It's like a giant shopping center but it's it's not a mall it's like very natural it's like um it's like a, a field in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the wild in the middle of the countryside and it was like a giant square of or maybe circle but actually yeah it's square it's square of just little shops and then in the middle it's a pond and there's a bridge that goes across the pond I remember that because I remembered my my brother just just running off and running onto the bridge. I told him to stop, but he refused to stop and I and I just remember that. I remembered buying a drink, but then again, I might be wrong. Uh yeah, anyway. Um what I think we bought I forgot. Uh, anyway, at that night we arrived at Taidong and we went to a spa hotel. A not so good hotel, probably the worst hotel that we've stayed in in Taiwan. Um, but uh, we went to this hotel, it's very famous for its spas and swimming pools. So we arrived there, we settled down, the hotel rooms are crappy and cheap and then at that night of arrival, we just 
we went downstairs and we went to these, you know, spas and these swimming pools. And I remember that the uh, there's a steam room beside the swimming pools. Again, it's not very indoors. It's not very high tech. It's all very natural. And I remember that the steam room is so friggin' hot and I can't breathe. I went into the steam room and uh, it was steam, I think it was either steam room or sauna room, but I went in there, I couldn't breathe. It was just torturous, so I went out immediately. Anyway, day five, uh, we went to the uh, canteen in the spa hotel. Yeah, there's a canteen on the top floor and it's a crappy ass canteen. It's like school canteen. Uh, actually, I take that back. Um, it's it's like a it's like a it's not like a school canteen. It's like um it's just a really crappy canteen. It's like a prison canteen. Uh, anyway, it was on top of the building, and as I recall, beside that little canteen, there's this bridge, and for some reason, there's this bridge that leads to this really weird hidden temple that's sort of buried underneath these vines and, and trees and, and rocks and it was so dimly lit i think i went in there too or did i i don't know but there were there there was this hidden temple on top of the mountain and, and nobody was there and it was really mysterious and it was very scary uh anyway um afterwards i think we continued southwards or I forgot, but we went to uh, Dulan, or did we? I don't know, but we went to this uh, beach, seaside place where it's all very stony and, and, and dirty. Like there were weird formations of mounts of dirt and rocks. And we were, and I just walked at, at that place, walked around and just admired the view and uh, it's just really weird. There, there must be something special about that place. Otherwise, why the hell would we be there? But there must be something special, and and I remember that. Uh, and then after the work, the, afterwards we went to a, a little farmland in in Dulan, and I remember nothing about that place. I think it was like a winery of some sorts, of some sorts of factory, like some sorts of natural countryside factory of some sorts. And uh, I remember that my mom uh, somehow ran into her friend there, her old friend there, and I had a burger there in one of those little, um, not restaurants, but like just places on the benches. So afterwards we went to this attic and we slept overnight on that attic, at that attic on top of a house. And there were a lot of people with us. I mean, it's my family plus my grandma's sister's family plus like another family or something. And there were like, I don't know, 10 people or, or 11 or 12, I don't know, but, or maybe nine or not eight, more than eight, I think. But we were all just sleeping in this giant attic. And I remember that day six morning, we went to this little cafe in Taidong and uh, it was in the seaside and the weather there wasn't really that nice. The weather on that day wasn't really that nice. So I remember the sky being gray and everything felt a little cold and windy and, and breezy, which is really nice. I remember eating seafood in a small little restaurant and um, there's something, something about this restaurant. Like, again, it's all memories. It's all bits and pieces of my memories. I'm trying to recall the, well, the, 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 the road beside the restaurant, but I forgot. Uh, and I also remember this tourist center where it's all concrete and, and stones and there weren't that many people there, but there's something, of, something special about that tourist center. It's, it's this piece of land that is very broad and 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 it's like a park there but then it's not i don't know but anyway i uh i remembered that place because i remember uh tricking my little brother and i remembered that after we went to that tourist center park place we went to a uh, a little restaurant 
mm, where it's it's very cheap and and not old school but but cheap and natural and, and countryside sort of it's broken very broken very underdeveloped restaurant where it's all concrete and these plastic stools and uh, which are very you know Asian these very Asian plastic stools like you know one if you see one and I remember dogs barking over there just very loudly and annoyingly and we also had food there and I think right beside of that restaurant we saw mountains like like a very tall mountain but not very far away but very tall and I remembered a park full of lily pads and I don't know if these two places are are the same place but I think like I think they're connected somehow but anyway we were in this park it was full of lily pads and uh, it, it was like a farmland as well there was a corridor there were wooden pillars there was a bathroom right there my mom asked me if I wanted to go to the bathroom I said no that's all I remember and then afterwards we went to a mall to eat hot pot and noodles but I completely forgot about that I also um, saw a photo of us eating in a restaurant with a square with a wooden square table and I also completely forgot about that day seven we went to this flowery park this field of flowers, eternal field of flowers. And I also uh, saw a photo of a stone bridge across the water. Uh, and yeah, it's really beautiful. You know, if you go to Taiwan or, you know, Asia in general, you got to check out the parks there. Uh, but again, totally forget about what happened. And then at night, we finally arrived at the south at Hengding which is at the very south, south, the southern tip of Taiwan. We went to this resort called Bethlehem, and it's one of the best resorts I've been to. I mean, it's very colorful and very natural at the same time. Uh, what's that material? It's not concrete. I think it, it might be concrete, but it's not concrete. It's like clay. I think the entire resort is built with clay, and it's very chunky clay. And we lived in this clay house. It was like an, an igloo. It felt like an igloo to me because of all the white clay. And it was very colorful. We get these very colorful lights on top of us. It was very beautiful. It was very natural as well. And uh, what else do I remember? The night market nearby that resort in Hunting. Oh yeah, Bethlehem Resort. I, I, I said that. The night market... Uh, beside that resort, it was fantastic. Just one giant road with with just little little stores and stalls beside the road, and um, it was a. Uh, I again I forgot what happened, but we sat around at one of the beside one of the store stalls, and I ate some food like some snacks over there. But yeah, night markets. Definitely check out the night markets in Taiwan. We also went to a, a, a park where there were sulfur spas and little volcanoes, I think. But now I'm beginning to think that this place is the same place that I thought I've been to in Taipei. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what I'm sure about is... Uh, 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 Luan Bi Park. I completely forget about what's special about that park. I completely forget about going to that park, but I remember that that part exists. That park exists, and I remember. I think I vaguely remember a grass field that sort of goes uphill beside the sea. There's a wooden bridge, and then there's a grass field, and there were these roads paved in, in wood, like like wood planks, like pieces of wood planks sort of paved this path on this field of grass that's slightly sloped. That's one bit of memory right there. And I think that's the park that I'm talking about. But anyway, this park is actually special because it is at the very, very, very southern tip of Taiwan. 
Um, anyway, day nine, we left at that resort. We, I think we went to Pingdong, Pingdong, which is a little bit uh, westwards of Hanbin. And we went to this mall, this very little tiny mall. We had chocolate ice cream there and it sucks. Okay, if you go to Asia, don't expect the the dairy stuffs in Asia to be good, like like ice cream, yogurt. Like, don't expect them to taste good. Um, of course, in Hong Kong, it's a different story. Like, some ice cream in Hong Kong is very good because it's like very Western inspired. But like, just don't take risks when it comes to you know ice cream, yogurt, milk, whatever in Asia. Don't take risks. And I, uh, and then after that chocolate ice cream, I remember after eating that ice cream, we hopped onto the car and we drove all the way back to Tai, to Taipei, 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 yeah, Taiwan North, Thai North, and and I don't know if it was in Thai North or or South, but. We also went to this wet market and we had like a meal in the middle of this wet market. Yeah, it was wet market and we were like in a bunch of tents, like in a field of, of like tents and people sell like seafood under those tents and it was stinky and, and everything was wet. We had a meal there. I remembered staying outside of those tents because I thought it was too stinky. Or maybe it was a wrong memory. I, I forgot. Maybe it was in Taiwan. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to show you some photos. If need be, I'm going to draw some maps. I'm going to draw my own memories using like MS Paint or something. Uh, but that's basically Taiwan. I know this video is super vague. But um, this is all I can find. This is all my, I, I, I tried my best to, to find old photos from that Taiwan trip and sort of correlate that with my own bits and pieces of memories and try to make sense of it all. But uh, yeah, still in general, I think Taiwan is one of the most underrated places. Uh, when it comes to traveling, the parks there, they are beautiful. The uh, towers, pavilions, you know, welcome to Asia. Huh. But what Taiwan stands out from other Asian countries and, and places is that it is super duper natural. And it, it really admires the, the nature and the countryside you know everything's very eco-friendly it's very green very wooden and there's this really clean quality to that the food in taiwan is some of the best in asia in my opinion of course you have bubble tea which is amazing um, but you also have the minced pork rice and the pineapple cakes the pineapple cakes, they're, they're amazing. Uh, feng li, so, feng li, feng li, so, feng li, su, shit. Uh, feng li, it's basically pineapple, but uh, we don't say that in, in um, Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, it has a different name. In Cantonese, pineapple has a different name, uh, but it's feng li in Taiwan. And feng li, su is amazing. Of course, you get the, the awesome noodles and the awesome dumplings all across uh, Taiwan, China, and south of China. And um, yeah, nothing else. Nothing else. It's a really cool place. I would love to go there again. I would love to revisit the places I've been to so that I would finally know where the hell I have been. And um, yeah, that's all. that's all I can say. Um, so, uh, what are your thoughts on Taiwan? Uh, like if you like it, and subscribe if you want more, and thanks for watching.